to get started, you'll need a few dry or mature coconuts, and my brother is going to demonstrate how to husk it or how to pull that fibrous layer off the actual shell and the nut. So all you want to do is hit it a few times with your cutlass or machete and you have to be careful because this can damage you pretty bad if you don't know what you're doing. So you're just going to give it a few smacks and then you're going to pull that fibrous layer off or the husk and then you'll be left with the shelled kernel inside. And you can skip these steps by just buying it at the market or the grocery store and you'll just get the kernel with that hard shell on the outside and it'll already be husked for you. So if you're gonna go that route, then all you wanna do is look for a nice brown, healthy looking nut and you wanna shake it and it must have a good amount of coconut water in there. So just shake it, make sure it looks good, scoop it out, make sure it doesn't have any mold or anything on it. And it, you really can't tell if it's good or not unless you cut it open in the store. Some stores might let you cut it open and then some stores, they don't allow you to do it. So you just have to try your luck. So my uncle is cracking the coconut open. So he's gonna take the nut out from the shell. And now he's gonna show us how to grind it with a coconut milk. So you see, this is a traditional coconut milk. Instead of hutting up your hand to dig out, to dig out the nuts. And we found this tool at Fan Square in Chaguanas. If you want to find it, it's $100 for one. He already finished up all these coconuts. Here we have a coconut bread or coconut pulp as it's called in some places. This is right before it sprouts a shoot to form a new coconut tree. This is really really delicious. I know Mandy gonna fight me for this later. Wow. Look how fine. Perfect for sugar cake or coconut pups bread, for coconut bake. It's so soft and nice. I wish y'all could feel it. So mom just added some water to the grinded coconut. So mom explain what you're doing. You just get you know, the, the uh, milk from, from the coconut. Okay. So all she's doing is squeezing the milk out of it. So that grinded coconut she's just squeezing out all that liquid. So 
so you have to add water to make the milk and you just mix that into the coconut and squeeze it's just like if you're making coconut milk We're going to wash it for a second time to see if we can get out some more um, milk. Yeah. So we really squeeze it and... Coconut is very milk. rich, so you tend to get a lot of milk out of it. So she added some more water. She really squeezing it out. So this is the third step now, she's going to strain it. This is seconds at the water, right? Mm -hmm. So this is an easier way to do it. So that you get all the pulp out. After straining the coconut milk, all you're gonna do is leave it overnight for about 12 hours, and then I'll show you all the next step. So I'm just gonna leave it on the counter in the kitchen overnight. You don't need to put it in the fridge or anything. And I'll show you what to do tomorrow. So this is how the milk looks the next day. So what are you gonna do now? I'm gonna separate from the water. Mm -hmm. It's separate from the water. So this is the fat from the milk. So you just take in a spoon and you just and skimming spoon. it off the top. So you see how much coconuts we use and a little bit we gain. So after we scooped out the fat from the milk, this is what's left over. There's a very high water content here, but there's still oil in it. I just felt it. You'll notice that there's oil already. So you can use this on your hair or just to rub on your skin if you want. You could bathe with it. It's totally up to you, but I would suggest not letting this waste because it's really good for your skin. So the cream or the fat that mom skimmed off the top of the milk, she just placed it onto the fireside or the cholha and this is how the coconut oil is going to be made. So all you have to do now is just leave it to boil and you'll see the oil starting to form. And mom is using the coconut husk to light the fire here. See, you see, the entire coconut is being used. So real action going on in the pot. It's bubbling up.
Mama, you feel like an oily. I got cake on the spoon. She couldn't wait for the oil to finish, so she take it and rub it on her skin. So come see how, it's up, how the oil is separated. Just... Nice. See, see from white, it went uh, off white, yellowish color. Touching the spoon. Hmm. See, natural stuff. It's you yeah, know it's bubbling like if you're frying chicken. Mm -hmm. the water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So even though um you have to try to skim off the fat at the top. It's okay if a little water gets in there, it always evaporates out when the oil is forming. So mommy said that she's the real fire woman. Because her fire lights um, better than daddy's own. Two of them had a debate about who could light fire better. Mommy, who could light fire better? I guess I, I guess the fire. No smoke. No smoke. mess up my camera so I'm just doing it on one hand. And what do they have to look for to know that it's finished? Well when this creamy part starts to change color and look brownish that's when you know it's finished. The more brown you let it get darker the color the oil will be so if you want the color and the oil to be light you don't let it get too dark brown. So depending on how dark you want your coconut oil, it's yeah, how long you let it yeah. stay. Okay. Come smell this one. I smell it. Coconut. Mmm. That smells real good. So mom showed them how to find the fire. See, this is how mommy was taught um, to aerate the fireside. She said daddy to smoke it up too much. And check our new pukni. Sure, I'm the new pukni. Wow, it's huge. Final. So this is nearly finished. About five minutes again. Okay. I will take it off. It's not, eh? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. so this is what it smells good. Wow. It's not real good. Mm -hmm. So she took it off the Show how the fireside, and all you have to do is let it cool, and then you could put it into some glass bottles. Oh. Lisa, eat this one more smoke. So now all you have to do is strain it. Mom is eating. Well, Lisa, eat it. Yes, it is. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Hot. Mmm. You know what it is like? 
like the coconut um, shortbread we used to buy a long time from Devon. Mm. What is like? I have a nutty taste, crispy nutty taste. Mm -hmm. So, nice. all you're gonna do is strain this off and put it in some glass bottles. Mm -hmm. So, we leave it to cool here. Okay. Can they put it in plastic bottles too? Well, it has to be real cool. Okay. Cool then, to get cool. Yeah, completely cool. Let it completely cool to room temperature and then you could put it in your bottles. Mm -hmm. So, this can stay outside for years. So, I'll just let this cool and mom is gonna bottle it up and show you what it looks like. So this is the finished coconut oil. See how easy it was? It was just a long process for to wait to scoop off the top but overall it's not too hard. I think it's fairly doable. So stay tuned for the next step. So we still have some fire going here and you can't let the fire waste, so you have to do something with it. Mommy is gonna put some sweet potatoes to roast here. And trust me, we did this the other day and it has such a nice buttery taste. It's so smooth on the inside. I'll try to show you how it looks when it's finished roasting. I know the video is about coconut oil, but... <laughs> I'll show you a few other things as well. It's more like a vlog. Oh, look, she brought cassava too. Mommy is standing because her funeral just passed and she's gonna strain the oil. So mom, tell us why you stand when a funeral is passing. It's respect. It's respect to the dead. So I we was live. that for my grandparents. Yeah. And then mom taught that to me. So now Every time I see a funeral, I always stand up. But um, we live on the way to the cremation site. So there's a lot of funerals that pass by us. All right, so we're gonna let it set for a little bit again and see if we get some more out of it. Wow, so from all those coconuts, this is the oil we got. 